We gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> What's going on YouTube and welcome back to a new video. My name is Kevin where I post every Tuesday and Friday. Today is Friday. Unfortunately, I won't have a vlog for today. Yesterday guys, I didn't end up filming myself painting this entire house. Basically all of the top floor except for the bedrooms. So I painted the living room. You could say this is the dining room. And I still got to paint the ceiling up here for the kitchen. But guys, as you guys can possibly tell, if I tilt the camera downwards, it's all done guys. The whole house is done. All the hardware, all of the tile work that I've done is completely finished. The kitchen is completely finished. And as you guys can tell, we have the dogs already looking all over the place. That's one of my dogs and then that's the other dog. And they're just excited, I guess, I guess to see that whole flooring come to part. The flooring that we chose is a hardwood flooring with a maple finish and it's really, really nice. It's smooth. It doesn't have any of those veins. And I really like this style a lot. It makes the house look much more modern. And the whole entire top floor is painted one color, guys. And that color that we ended up going with is from Sherwin-Williams. It's called a light French gray color. It looks really, really nice. And if you guys don't know anything about colors or grays like that, let me tell you that sometimes gray colors, there's so many options to choose from. You know, we went there with the Sherwin-Williams. There was around like, I would say over a hundred types of grays. Some grays with purples, other grays with blues, other grays with greens. And it's just completely crazy. But guys, we ended up choosing this light finish guys. And it looks absolutely nice with the flooring contrast. But as you guys can see, this is the kitchen. And this is all dusty guys because of the flooring, you know. And it's just kind of really hard to keep everything. And by the way, we've been cleaning the house. At least my mom has been cleaning the house every night guys for at least an hour. Another task guys today is that we have to move all of this furniture with the fridge and also this you know cupboard here that has the fridge for you can put in. We're gonna put all of this against this wall guys. So once again it's gonna be an extension kind of like an L shape. So we're gonna have this going like that and then this whole entire kitchen coming across here We're gonna have the TV right there. We're gonna have the sofas around here guys Also, I did yesterday I put casing all over the door and we're gonna paint all of these doors since this is more like of a Creamy color and we got to make it a nice pure white color By the way guys all of these stuff You don't have to get an interior designer to come in and you charge you a thousand two thousand ten thousand dollars Whatever the price is guys um, you just go online guys you can go on Pinterest on Google you search up modern door casing modern this modern that or whatever type of style you're going for you know postmodern look very modern just any type of style if you're looking into getting a more vintage I don't know it's all up to you guys everyone just everyone just wants a different look of their house and the really you you have to make it really unique by the way guys if you are new to this channel make sure you like and share and hit the subscribe button guys we're at 79 subscribers guys growing nice and small but guys at the end of the day it's the you know it's not the quantity it's the quality of people who are watching these videos whoever's interested in getting to know myself and my journey guys of building wealth or building anything like that guys and not just building wealth and building money but building up yourself learning new skills for the record I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable right. for the record you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you hours later and we're finally done cleaning up pretty much all everything although there is a little bit of dust right now on the tiles but that's kind of normal but hopefully eventually although this is black tiles and black tiles are a little bit more harder to maintain but they're really really beautiful and they're really nice to look at my dog guys loves the new tile it's a porcelain tile which is nice and cool for him guys by the way if you're in Toronto and today is july the third it's so hot and humid outside which is kind of normal for toronto weather but right now guys my girlfriend over here she's been preparing us some iced coffees and she got it off tiktok and right <laughs> yeah. she got it off tiktok guys and right now i'm gonna try to challenge her 
I've tried her iced coffees before guys and they're really really good but I want to see if my iced coffee will come out better or at least as good as hers. What we're going to add to the iced coffee guys is some chocolate syrup as well as well the boiling water. So guys, she gave me the, the, you know, how to make it. This is, I guess, a tablespoon right here. I'm not too sure, but I gotta pull up my phone because that's where she gave me all of the instructions on how to do this. Two tablespoons of coffee per person. So here goes one. We're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar per person. So if there's four people, that is 12 tablespoons of sugar. All right, guys, so the final step is add four tablespoons of water, guys. So we're gonna add some water for, per person. So that is 16. All right, guys, so, so far, that's how it's coming out. I don't know, but hopefully by when I actually end up stirring it up, Hopefully it actually comes out really, really good. Oh, this is what we're gonna use to whisk it up. It's a whisker. And we gotta get this consistency to be kind of fluffy or creamy. creamy. It's more of a creamy type of consistency. And I think really what makes it become creamy is the sugar. So hopefully this doesn't take that long, but we see, we'll see. So guys, so far, this is the consistency. <laughs> By the way guys, I don't know, honestly, I don't think it's supposed to be looking like this because last time she made it, it didn't come out this foaming. And she's out there laughing in the back of the camera. But guys, first time, once again. Guys, so I added a little bit more sugar. I didn't measure it. I just poured some in and it's actually coming along the expert says So it's getting a little bit less foamy. This is really really good especially in the summer and especially if you want to save some money When you're buying iced coffees at Starbucks, how much does it cost? Um, at least five bucks, right? Four dollars. I think four, I don't buy iced coffee. Four, four five, five dollars and plus by the way, this is really, really simple to make. It's my first time, but once you start getting used to it, it becomes really, really simple. And I can make like four or five coffees. Look at that, guys. Look at the consistency. That's how it's supposed to be. No, it's not. So at your kitchen, guys, grab your pot or whatever you're doing it and go like that. Go like that. Go like that. And if it doesn't fall, that means you got the perfect consistency. First step, guys, is you want to get your chocolate syrup or whatever you're using, and you want to do a nice little design. I'm gonna bring it over here just in case anything falls. You gotta just put it all in there like that. We're gonna put the icing, guys, first. You're gonna put three? No, four. Four ice in there. Now, time for the lactose. Free milk or whatever type of milk. I've tried it with chocolate milk, which tastes really, really good as well. And you fill it up around there. You go to around there. Leave some space where you can put the coffee on top. And guys, the final step, actually before, because the final step is when you actually enjoy eating this. But guys, the Try. other step right now is to put this on top. And don't be shy guys, put as much as you want, especially when so much comes out like this for only four. Oh. You can even it out by putting one scoop, one scoop into every single one of them. And that's how the finished product is supposed to kind of look like. And here's one for my mom and my sister, and here's my girlfriend's. So guys, make sure you do and try this out, guys. It tastes really, really good, and it saves you a lot, a lot of money. And if you're not going out, it's really, really good because all you need is coffee, milk, some chocolate syrup. All right, guys, my girlfriend and I, we're actually gonna go for a bike ride. This is our second bike ride during this week and we're actually enjoying it a lot by the way guys the next project is right here and there's a bunch of tools in it right now but there's something that we're gonna use this shed for that's something very useful
by the way guys she's riding my bike and it's a more newer bike the bike i'm riding right now is my brother's bike which it's a very actually a cool bike it's a vintage bike all right guys so we're finally making it to the park and if you guys are from Gilwood or at least from Scarborough, I think everyone knows who where this park is located. But they did a whole new renovation on this, guys. This, and this is like a little trail that is over here. And guys, down over there, that's actually, I'm gonna leave the bikes over here. That's actually, I think, the first house. <laughs> oh my god. Over there guys is actually the first house I believe, don't quote me, but I believe it says that that is built in Scarborough guys. So this is This was the first house they built in Scarborough. Yeah, this is the first okay. house. That's what they actually say down here. And there's like some stuff hanging. Bro, there's like a thing hanging there. Where? Over there, like you see that? No, where? The whole thing is hanging from like the trees. There's like oh. some stuff. And over here, if I shine some light on it. You might say that it's the oldest building in Scarborough mm. built in 1795 by Augustus Jones but you I have no clue and I don't want to find out you gotta get out of here oh my god let's go let's go <laughs> one thing I do know guys though is that building I'll show you down over there. It actually used to be haunted. Um, I'm not too sure. There used, there used to be a, a, a building, the building that they renovated down over there. It was haunted. Really? Yeah. It's still haunted then. It might be, guys. It is. If it was haunted before, why would it change? If you guys don't know about it, search it up on, it's called like the Gilwood Ghost or something like that guys. And if I'm not too sure, it was, they saw someone looking outside of a building from a mirror or a window you could say. And you could see uh, one eye or two eyes illuminate. Which I don't know, I've never seen it guys. But guys, right now we're actually gonna head back because there's so many mosquitoes at this moment. So I don't wanna, you know, get ate and up by them. Plus we didn't put any repellent or anything like that. On the way guys, I ended up stopping by my old middle school, well not my old school, middle school, but my middle school that I used to go to when I was in grade seven and eight guys, which is over here, it's Jack Minor. If you guys are, subscribers and you guys went to school with me you guys all know what Jack Miner was all about another thing guys it really made me just reminisce and think of you know you make may feel really old at the moment like I'm only 21 um, but this was not too long ago it was like five years ago uh, when I was in there and in grade 8 I would say going to grade 9 already and it just really you know made me reminisce and you know you may seem old or you may feel old but you actually aren't old and you have a full life ahead of you so guys if you guys are in your 20s 30s don't worry you're not old and even if you're in your 60s 70s you still gotta live life guys you still gotta make sure that you're doing everything you want to do unfortunately we all have a time that we must go but no one expects it no one i think wants to go um, so make sure that everything you're doing guys and that's what this whole channel is about it's about personal growth personal development I mean, it's making wise choices for you can make the most out of this one life that you have and just make sure that you choose everything as wisely as possible although we all make mistakes and guys as I was saying that's how far this other school is which is not far at all this is Poplar Road this was my old school guys that's kindergarten class and then grade one is down over there but guys same benches it's crazy how everything is basically almost the same so the gym was over there guys and right now i'm pretty sure if i go back to the gym it's gonna seem so much smaller uh, i don't know if that's happened to you when you go to somewhere where oh yeah like when i go to my to mason yeah like the whole school looks so tiny like and like i remember when i was in there it looked so big yeah this is the inside of the school guys and it's just bringing so many memories back wow 
I remember going up and down those stairs and upstairs is where you would be in grade four, five, and six. Downstairs was grade, were kindergarten, grade one, two, three. And I remember through, you know, summer break when it was coming, we used to run down these stairs, guys. Be so happy. And I know some of the followers that watch these videos used to go to the school with me, guys. So comment down below if you guys did go to the school and you guys remember the school I sit right here, guys. And this was in grade four, five, and six where I used to have all my lunches. And then we would play on this wall. This was our wall. But guys, this is where, I know you guys probably can't see it, but this is where I used to have my lunches. And, you know, it's just a little bit of my background. And, you know, for you guys can see and check out my school. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you.